In this session, I'm going to demonstrate how to enhance the presentation by inserting various pictures and other components. So uh, let's assume that we have now an outline in our presentation and also we have applied a design theme to it. Now we want to insert different components. So we want to insert graphics and clip art and other components as well. So we click here on the insert tab. Now we are making this much fancier. So of course you could insert here a new, a new slide. And I'm going to just insert a new title slide, just, or you can do a blank slide or whatever type of slide that you want. But I'm just going to insert a blank one for us to tinker with. So we can get pictures, pictures uh, from the computer. And let's say we go under the folder here, pictures, and pick one of those. Once we insert this image, we can resize it, make it as big and uh, place it wherever we want it. And of course, notice uh, under the picture tools, there's a new tab called, uh, these are called the contextual tools, the tools that show up in the context of what we are doing. So in this case, uh, we can tinker with this picture and make it even fancier. Notice there are different picture styles that we can change here and apply a different style to this specific picture that we downloaded. So you pick whichever style that you prefer in this case. And then you can also apply here different uh, effects, even rotation, three-dimensional rotation and that type of thing. And notice also you can crop this picture. So if you do not want the whole area of this picture, and let's say we want only the uh, area here where it says PowerPoint 2007, we can simply select what we want and then choose to crop it. Once it's cropped, we can expand this. And I'm going to undo the, the style here, so it basically looks better this way, I guess. Let's say the round edges, and let it be that way. Remember, in this case, we applied a picture from our computer. The other thing that you can do is you can go here under Insert, and you can get pictures online. This is very similar to like getting clip art, but it's going to Microsoft online and then searching for it. So if we click here on online pictures, it's going to utilize Bing, the search engine Bing, and uh, we can get whatever pictures we want. Of course, keep in mind here, copyright as well. You pick any of those. All you have to do basically click on it and then choose insert. Once you insert the image, then you can drag it wherever you want to place it and then resize it if you need it to. And of course, apply a theme to whatever you'd prefer to apply. In some cases where the images overlap, like in this case here, what you could do is you can actually send that image to the back or bring a specific image to the front. And notice in this case, we have this one in front of the other one. So there you go. That's how basically you can get images either from the computer or from downloading them from the web. Of course, you could also go on the web and select the right click on an image, copy it, and then simply paste it to PowerPoint here to the slide. There are also different shapes that you could insert. For example, that you want to have an arrow pointing to for whatever reason to this object and this arrow notice you have to drag it hold down the mouse drag it and to the right or however you want to draw it basically on the screen and now there are also shape tools that show up here to format this further so let's say I want a different color here I can apply this color under the outline let's say I don't like the outline that was there take that off and then also have different uh, effects like a, such as shadow and uh, so on. So it's basically a matter of tinkering with this and adjusting it however you prefer it. Notice you can add other ones or you can change, edit this uh, shape to, uh, to look something different where you're basically taking the existing shape and then customizing it to be a different one, retaining the current properties that you had applied earlier. And then, of course, you could change this 
and locate it, put it wherever you want. Notice here there is also this little area here where you can actually rotate this whole shape here and basically customize it to your liking. One other thing that you can do, by the way, is also you can group those objects. So let's say this one and this one, make them so that they act as one. And the way you group objects is by simply clicking on it, click on the second component as well, then right click and then choose group. Now this point, whenever you move this, it's going to be together. Notice we have to send it backwards again. Another uh, component, as we are tinkering with images at this point, what you can do, and this is new in PowerPoint 2013, is that you can insert part of your screen, like a screenshot as an image into the slide in PowerPoint. So of course it would be going against our rules here of having more than two images per page here, but uh, let's say that we are okay with that. Now what we do here, let's say we want to add something else in this area. To take a screenshot, all we have to do is click on Take Screenshot, and it's going to uh, present us with uh, windows that we currently have opened in our computer. So let's say I want to take a screenshot from, let's say, something online. So I open whatever it is online, and then I go back to PowerPoint, and then I go under screenshot. Now, if we choose here available windows, it takes actually the whole screenshot from that web page and pastes it in our slide. However, we can do a screen clipping and capture only part of that page from the web. So let's say we wanted to take this part over here. Select it. Notice it captured it, cropped it automatically, and now we bring it back to our presentation. And then we can manipulate it and tinker with it further however we want. So that's basically inserting images and how to enhance the, the looks of the PowerPoint. Of course, in this case, it's too busy, but how to enhance this presentation by adding multiple components to it. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to insert a table and customize that table. And then we're going to move on to charts and smart art and other components as well.